everyone. I am Inaya Zia Khan of Class 6A. Today we are going to study chemistry. So the topic is sorting materials into groups. So let's get started. Firstly, what do you mean by classification? Classification means to classify or group organisms or materials by seeing there are some common characteristics. So now the question arises, why do we need them? We need them so it becomes easier to understand them. So now the materials are classified on the basis of seven characteristics or properties. So the first is appearance. Appearance means that how they look like, their color, their size, etc. or their shape. So firstly, like uh, for example, you take wood and iron, you take wood and iron. So the wood, so the, when you look at wood, its color is different. It is brown in color. And when you see iron, it is silver in color. So this is a difference on the basis of the appearance. Now the second one is lusher. Lusher means shine. On this like, uh, for example, you take a steel rod. A steel rod is a lustrous object or a lustrous material because it uh, because it gives shine okay so now the third one is texture texture means that uh, when you touch it uh, it is hard or it is soft so it gives that kind of difference like when you take a teddy bear teddy bear is a very soft one and it's like uh, you can compress it now when you take a wooden plank it's really hard and you just cannot compress it this is the difference between texture. Now we take mesisability. Mesisability means that when you mix two liquids, like when you take two liquids, it mix together or not. Okay, so they mix together or not. Like you take water and uh, water and milk. So water and milk, when you mix them together, they are mesisable liquids. They get mixed up. Okay, now you take oil and water. On the other hand, we'll take oil and water. They are immiscible liquids because the oil is uh, like the oil settles upwards and the water settles downwards. They do not mix with each other. Okay, so it becomes immiscible liquids. Now you go to density. Density means mass per unit volume. In this, like when you throw a stone in some water. It sinks, it goes down. That means that the, uh, the object, the substance has more mass than or has or is denser than water. The substance is, uh, the, su the density of the substance is more than water. Okay. Or like if you throw a lighter object in water, you throw a lighter object in water, it will float on it. It will float on it. This is because the density of the water is more than the object. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is about density. Now we'll go to transparency. Transparency means that how much amount of light passes through the object. Okay. It means like the, it's classified into three parts. Transparent, translucent and opaque. In a transparent object, when a light falls on a transparent object, all the part of the light passes through it. Like you can take a window pane uh, or the glass, window pane glass that you have, all the light passes through it. That is a transparent object. In translucent object, what happens is, the some amount of light, the light passes through it partially. Some light passes through the object. This is called as translucent object. Like you take a frosted glass. Now the third one is opaque object. Opaque object means when no light passes through the object. No part of the light can pass through the object. Like you, have, you can take a, for example a wall. Like in a wall, Light cannot pass through the wall. Light cannot, pa cannot pass through the wall. So this is the opaque object. Okay. 
now we'll go to solubility in water okay so if you take salt and water common salt and water you mix them up they will the salt will dissolve in water that means it will become soluble in water like uh, this is the soluble one now you mix up sand and water they will not mix up sand is uh, sand will not dissolve in water sand will settle down in water like the water will come upwards and the sand will settle down at the bottom it will not mix up or it will not dissolve in it so this will become insoluble now we'll go now so we are done with all these seven uh, we have done with all these seven properties in which the materials can be classified so we are done with one of the units thank you for this and have a great day